everyone in the U.S. would just be flocking to Banjo, but instead it's like everyone in Japan's playing this character. Yeah, it's very interesting. And then no one in Japan, I don't think anyone in Japan's really playing Hero from what I've seen, but I could be wrong. All right, let's see. First thing I gotta see is uh, how does um, Trella deal with the Hydrant? I wonder what his best move is at killing the Hydrant, like flat out. Yeah. Oh my god, these guys can't I, touch each other. Yeah, you can't they can't even, touch each other. You can't even get to the hydrant. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. For, <laughs> trade 10% with each other. This is funny because they're both like, they both want to set up a zone to just wall each other out. Yeah. But like it's like who's going to fall into the trap first, you know? Yeah, it's like they're spacing each other out so they understand they have a certain amount of space they have to respect on each other. But that just leads to like chip damage like every single time, basically. Yeah, definitely think this... This set is gonna it's gonna go down to like the wire here. At least it's gonna test the patience of both players really well, yeah. I think. Okay, he's got Galaxian on. Tries to offer key that time around. Okay. Ooh, Ooh long lasting hitbox actually keeps it at bay. Yeah, that oh, oh uh, no. Okay. Miss input from Trella and uh that's rough because it's already really hard to kill Pac-Man and uh, giving away a free stock when he's at low percent just makes it even more of an uphill battle. Yeah, definitely. What even happened there? Like, he misinputted his Wonder Wing in towards the blast zone, so yeah. he just died. He might have been actually just trying to be reverse uh, grenade pull. Oh yeah, that, okay. Now that I think about it, yeah, that, probably, that makes the most sense. Oh, all of a sudden, damage has been overlapped already on the next stock. T really found the opportunity after that mis unfortunate misinput. Yeah, he's like, no homie stocks here, man. Sorry, you SD'd, but uh, <laughs> you take those, dude. Yeah. I flew all the way from Japan, <laughs> not trying to give up <laughs> any free stocks. Ah, no setup with the grenade, a little bit too far away. Well, you always got to be careful with the bill at the ledge like that. It goes like a really awkward angle that a lot of people aren't ready to cover, but nice punish on the Wonder Wing, was completely ready for that. It's one of the few times I've seen Charlie just go for like a raw Wonder Wing uh, kill. But there's the up smash out of the down throw, catching like the perfect mash out to get the sweet spot there. Right. Normally in that situation, you see banjos get the up tilt, but go for the up smash, it's guaranteed death. Okay, now all of a sudden, Trela has an opportunity to try and bring this back. He hasn't been hit on his last stock yet, but that can easily change and all the damage can come around. Yep, just like that. Yeah, T oh. is stacking it up, man, racking up all this percent. It's just crazy how uh, consistent he is at getting like these low percent streams right. with Pac-Man. Right. Like next yeah. thing you know, you're like at 60 plus percent off of just one exchange. Trying to find another Wonder Wing. Not quite able to catch him on the landing. See how Trailer tries to close in the gap. Oh man, yeah, he has so much startup on his uh, aerials, especially that forward air. So it makes it difficult for him to really do anything into air-to-air -air combat because T's aerials are so fast. Yeah. Like especially that fair is really fast along with that Nair. He's like trying to use the water hitbox of the Hydrant, just push him into these smash attacks. Okay. Oh! Okay, beer versus key. Keys him at bay. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was... That was like a 1,000 IQ, man. That was 2,000 IQ. <laughs> I've seen that setup before, but every time I see it, it still like blows my mind. <laughs> so he uses the, uh, the Z-drop of the bell to get pushed by the water and like people, it, it flies at your opponent so fast that a lot of people just aren't ready to react to that. And uh, I don't even know if it. you can react to that by the time it's happening. Yeah. Like I think you, you just kind of have to you know. You have to that already know that he's gonna go, gonna go for that, right? Yeah. And he pulled it out on like the last stock too. Yeah. So then he's he's gonna do it again probably at the last stock, like when he forgot about that option again. So yeah. I feel like that's just how it's gonna go now. Yeah. That uh, SD from Trello just kind of set him up for a failure in that game. Yeah. It's uh, really difficult to make a comeback on a character like Pac-Man as Banjo, since he's also like a setup type character as well. He just doesn't have just, it's not easy to get raw kills, but what the heck? The hero's back. Thanks. The hero's back from Trella. I thought he was done with this character. All right, then. All right, oh, so um, a lot oh. of people <laughs> would consider this a really messed up counter pick. Oh, crap. Using <laughs> Hero against Japanese people <laughs> who cannot read the menu. I mean, we can barely read the menu because yeah. of the overlay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, Trella was actually really good with Hero uh, when he was playing him mainly before Banjo came out. So um, 
Yeah, it's not like this is a random pick at all, but I just completely thought he was done with this character. But now that I think about it, this is a really good matchup for him. He has much better projectiles at dealing with the way Pac-Man wants to space. And if he does roll for bounce, like he doesn't care about any of the fruit or the hydrant. Yeah. He's, he's barely used the sword. He's using all of the spells so far. Or right, let's see. Oh, watch out. Oh! <laughs> okay. Now he doesn't have too many spells available because he used up all his MP, so he's going to have to oh. wait a little bit. Oh my god, the Galaxian combos are so strong! Oh my goodness, T! He killed so early with that. Yeah, firing back all of a sudden. Yeah, that, that first dog looked like all trailer, but man, T just turned it around so quick. Yeah. Oh, free punish here. Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to go for the the fully charged one there. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe he was bagging on T, like dropping shield or something out of panic or something like that. Jeez. T is uh, playing very aggressive now. Yeah. I think he understands. He's like, okay, hero. Terrible disadvantage state, so might as well just go ham on this character. Like, yeah. not much you can do to get out of this stuff. Dang, that sucks. Even that's not enough to get him out of it. Yeah, and he's running low on mana as well. Oh, wow. Stalling off stage. <laughs> I really like it there. Oh, nice catch. Th did you see the, uh, the Hydrant get bounced back <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> from bounce? All right. It's hero, so... I'm not going <laughs> to say that uh, this is a big lead for T. Because yeah, he can yeah. die right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice down air, though. Pitching the ledge jump. I think it's just funny when uh, the opponent just lets Hero just stand there, like, going through yeah. his spells. <laughs> it's being very Dude, polite. Dude, what the heck? Yo! <laughs> T <laughs> just... Well, that got shot down very, very Dude. quickly. That was a combo video. We need a clip for that whole last dog, dude. Yeah. He literally juggled him from left.